What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Prince Xmas, and I'm back at y'all with another back video. And look, I know y'all probably like, why does he have the same hat on from the last video? But look, your boy had his hair retwisted or got it cut in about two weeks, y'all. So y'all ain't seen the hair for a minute. Before I show you guys my room, I have a new slogan for my channel. And this slogan is, make today so great it makes yesterday jealous. This is something I want to live by and I want to express to my channel. I want to make every day a better day and become a better me. So every video I'm gonna start off by saying make today so great and I want you guys in the comment section to go down and say it makes yesterday jealous. So I wanna do this every video. If you're watching this video now, uh, go down in the comment section and say it makes yesterday jealous. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I know y'all wanna see this room right here. It's pretty drip, right? I know. Literally every time I'm on TikTok, uh, questions on YouTube, questions on Instagram, literally all you guys say is do a room tour video. So that's what I'm gonna bring y'all today. Before I break down each individual part of my room, um, I have literally been wanting to film this video for so long, but every time I always seem to add new pieces to my room and stuff like that. So it's not completely finished and there's some stuff I want to add, which I will show y'all what I want to add in this room. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to give y'all a little montage of what my room looks like. Okay, now as you guys saw a couple clips of my room, I'm gonna break it down into detail. Okay, you guys, I literally wanna start off with the most important piece of my room. Like, this is where everything happens. My sleep, magic, everything else. And that is, and that is my bed. Okay, now there is literally nothing special about my bed at all. Um, <laughs> literally nothing, <laughs> uh, but I mean, I don't know what to say. Everything on this bed except the cause doll is from IKEA. That is heaven on earth. Trust me. IKEA is literally the best place. It's Wonderland. Uh, so I got this little throw blanket. Um, I have a big thick comforter. Big thick comforter on it. You know I gotta stay warm at night. Um, pillows from IKEA. And uh, I mean nothing really special. And I got this cause. I don't know. Y'all tell me the name of this doll. I don't even know. Is it like Bernie, Ernie, something like that? I have no idea the name of this doll to say on her. I don't know, from Sesame Street. I got that one, I got the Emma over there, I'll show in a second. But, uh, I mean, yeah, there's nothing special on my bed. I mean, <laughs> this is where the magic happens. And um, by magic, I mean sleep. Um, of course, you know. Uh, but, I mean, my bed's very, very comfortable. I have, uh, like, a memory foam pad that goes across it. I have a memory foam cooling pad. It gets really cool at night, and I love it, man. So, you know, I always keep my bed made up i always make my bed in the morning my parents tell me well you feel me but i always make it up it looks kind of messed up right now but i always make my bed in the morning and yeah that's it and under my bed i don't know if you guys can see i have led lights as you can see they're fading colors right now can you guys see that i have led lights they're fading colors right now so under my bed i have like some bags and stuff and i have these light things from ikea um, i have a phone charger that comes out stuff like that power brick and then i have Oh, the slides. What's this? I have a, what the heck? Bro, I didn't even know I had these. Whoa. I have a fresh pair of unworn forces. I don't even remember getting these. Bro, what? Anyways, I got those LED lights right there. Pretty lit. I usually keep my school backpack right here. I just throw it in here because honestly, I keep my computer in here. So when I, I don't want to have to get up and get out of my bed and go grab my computer, I literally just unzip it and grab my computer and be on my computer while I'm in the bed. And then right here I have my dresser. Okay, this is not really a dresser. It's actually a chest. Well, it's two chests. So I bought it from Ikea and it came separate. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're divided right here. But, um, you know, all of our ethical boxers. But anyways, um, I bought them right here. They're pretty cheap. Um, I didn't like the dresses they had. So I saw one of these. I'm like, wait, what if I just got two of them? So I got two of them, I put them together, and it literally all worked out. Um, so I mean, they're pretty cool. They have like a tempered glass right here. I mean, nothing really special. I just keep like all my socks, underwear, basketball shorts, regular t shirt stuff like that. On top of my dresser, I have a fan. If you can go to sleep without a fan, I think you're honestly insane, man. I cannot really, I really cannot sleep without that fan right there. Like, 
I literally cannot fall asleep without a fan or without like some type of air being blown on my body. I'm not sure what it is, but I've been like that since a kid. And on here, I literally just got my remote, my TV remote right there. I usually have my TV on playing some music and stuff like that, but not right now because I'm making a YouTube video. Right here, I usually have my Rolex box and my jewelry box, but it's actually in my car right now just because I live in two different households. So I literally always have to move back and forth and bring my stuff with me. Um, and this is like a little clean towel for jewelry and stuff like that. Um, and here I have like this glass box. I don't know, I stole it from my dad's room a couple years ago. And right here I had the baby lotion. Yes, I have very sensitive skin, so I do use baby lotion. I'm either using this or Vino. Yes, I know y'all can gas me in the comments all y'all want. So I use this or Vino. It works the best for my skin. Right here, right here I have a little Tiki Man from Hawaii. And I also have some rocks from Hawaii. Later that I found out when I got back, uh, from Hawaii that taking rocks from Hawaii is actually illegal and they say it's bad luck. So um, I don't know why I still have them in my room. Anyways, uh, I have my remote control for my LED lights right there. I have it on fade right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me focus camera. It's fading colors currently right now, but I can change it to like blue, red, green, whatever I want really. But it's pretty cool. And then right here I have a charging pad. Every night when I come home, I just literally set my AirPods right here just so I don't forget to charge them at night and they literally start charging. I think it's amazing. It's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and let me not forget the main piece right here. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Look, y'all, I don't know why I bought this piece. I was literally in Ikea. Like I said, I love Ikea. Um, I was in Ikea looking around and I just walked past this piece. I literally just walked past this piece in one of the showrooms and I was like, look, bro, I need this in my room. And uh, yeah, I have no purpose i mean i don't have any personal connection with it but i mean i just like this painting i like mona lisa she's pretty iconic and uh yeah that's pretty much it uh moving on i have a little kind of table right here um on this table this is where i throw like my keys and my phones and stuff like that um and i don't know why they're right there but usually i put them right here on top of this big thing right here um as you guys can see right here right here i have two babe catalogs um, I just throw them in here for uh, pretty much just for display in my room. I mean, they're pretty cool, nothing really special, but they're like a little catalog of basically what's coming out. So I got that right there. Then I got this Hydro Flask. Uh, I don't really use this anymore because I have a white one that I use. I actually got painted by my boy Maxon. He hooked that up for me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's dented. I don't really use it anymore. I use it sometimes when I go work out. I have a picture of me. You know, pimp the all in the old navy. You know what I'm saying? Big chain on, stuff like that. Uh, I have this. This is, I don't know how old I was in this, but my dad took me to uh, Sunsplash Golf Land, the arcade, and I won this in the game. And I always remember that day because it was pretty beautiful. Right here, I have my mirror. On my mirror, I literally just have a bunch of stickers. This is the mirror I look at before I go to school, stuff like that. Check my fit right now. Not too much drip ball, you know. Typical high beast, um, but on the mirror I have a beast sticker. I've been having this mirror for years, so that's why I still have beast stickers and drawing stickers on here. Yeah, moving on. Okay, right here you see I have a big door in my room, and above the door it says uh, basketball. I can do everything through him and get his strengths. Philippians 4:13, you know, very popular verse. Um, I don't play basketball anymore, but basketball was a big staple in my life for a very long time. So I just keep that right there, and every time I pretty much get up in the morning and I walk through to go um, get myself ready for the day in my bathroom and stuff like that. I just look at that and I read that. So that's pretty cool. But as you guys can see, I have a bathroom right here. I'm not gonna be really going to detail my bathroom. It's not that clean right now. But uh, yeah, I got that right there. And then the next thing you guys see is my TV. Um, I have a smart TV. I'm not sure what version it is. My dad just got it for me. It's an LG. I got the LG remote right here. I mean, it's pretty lit, man. I mean, I got that through the LED lights. Behind there, I got these from Ikea. Um, they're not that expensive. I think they're like, no, nah, they're actually pretty expensive. They're like 25 bucks, but they come on like these uh, four strips. Um, I got one above too, but it comes with four strips basically that you put around and you can just stick on there. Um, and yeah, it comes with a remote control. I can change it, move it around, what color I want to do. But right now, I usually keep all my colors, my LED lights and uh, my light over there in fade. Right here, I have a mini fridge. 
And look, yes, it's not that it's not that full right now just because I haven't gone shopping in a very long time. I need to go shopping, but on top of my fridge, I usually don't have anything. I have my keys right here right now and then keys in my desk are on why. Uh one of the But I have my keys. I need to put my pocket actually right now. But I have my keys. Now this diamond tester just because I'm about to take it with me to go make a video. Yeah, you're gonna see that soon. I have Google Home. Uh, she helps me out with my alarms and stuff like that, even though I don't wake up to half of them. Um, but I just happen here, ask questions, play music, stuff like that. I usually play music off my TV, um, which is not on right now, but uh, I mean, it's pretty helpful. Right here, I have a basket and my food tray. All right, I use this food tray for pretty much everything. My food tray is pretty dinged up right now, as you guys can tell. Uh, I'll show you guys what I use for that in a second. Right here, I have a tray. I'm um, on top of the tray. I usually have more snacks in here. Right now, I have hot Cheetos, honey cook barbecue, um, Pringles, and goldfish. I usually have way more snacks in this, but um, as I said, I have not been shopping in a while. The next rack, I have wires, phone chargers. I have my case, my phone. Right here, I have a Polaroid camera. Um, I ran out of film for this, so I need to go get some more film. Uh, but yeah, I used to use that pretty often. And I have some other camera lenses right here. I don't use these too much because they're more zoomed in. Um, the one I'm using right now is pretty much my favorite one. Right here, I have a headset, um, some wires, a PS4. I don't use PS4 anymore. You know, PS, big PS5 gang. Um, and then I have my MacBook Pro case, uh, or the box it came in. And yeah, I got this from Ikea. It was like 25 bucks. I mean, it's pretty cool. It rolls around, stuff like that. So I just put that right there. As far as my food tray, as you guys can tell, I do have a chair in my room um, and I have a food tray. So pretty much anytime I'm trying to edit a video, literally eat and do anything, or just trying to watch TV, pick my feet up, literally do anything, I just put it on this on this tray right here. This tray is a holy grail. It's a little shaky, but uh, it works out. So every time I'm just trying to sit down, I can literally just sit down, pick my feet up, watch some TV. I can literally edit. That's how I usually edit right here with the TV on, listening to music, stuff like that. Or I can just eat and watch my TV. So I don't really want to eat in my bed and get crumbs on my bed. It works out perfectly. So if you guys have room in your so if you guys have extra space in your room, I recommend you get a chair and a, and a food tray because it works out perfectly. Uh, moving on, up top. Right here, I have my change jars. Um, I got this when I first moved in this house. And literally, I don't think I've ever emptied these. My little sister and brother always steal my money out of them. Every time I get home, I just empty my pockets. I throw my ones in there. I have ones, fives, and I throw my change in there. My little sister and brother like steal this every month. So I mean, like I don't really care about it, but I mean, they're getting their, their money, try to uh, act like they're slick, acting like I don't know, but I actually do, so. Right here, I have three mirrors. Uh, my grandma put these up. I don't really, I don't really look at them, but, but uh, I have these mirrors right here. I mean, they're pretty cool, and they fill up the space right here, so that's lit. Above my door, I do have, I was big into motorcycles like a couple years ago, so my grandma got me this, and this one I have right here. Um, but I had a bunch of motorcycle stuff all of my room, I eventually took it down because I'm now a grown man, I'm 18, and so I don't really want motorcycle stuff all over my room. Uh, right here, I have a bungee chair. I used to use this a lot before I got my food tray and my uh, chair right there. That used to just literally stay right there, and I used to be watching TV with that all the time. Uh, it's pretty cool, I'm pretty tall, so it doesn't work the best, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I bring it out sometimes, I love my little brother and sister use that. And then, ah, uh, when I first, Got into Bape and Supreme and all white and all this other stuff. I hung all this stuff up. I didn't even really hang it up. As you guys can see, as y'all can see, I literally just hung it up with tape, man. Most most scale thing ever, but I mean, I'm not really tripping. Um, I haven't taken it down just because I, didn't, I don't really care to. I mean, it doesn't look bad and I don't really see it too much just because most of the time when my door's open, it covers it. All right, um, so on here I got like an off-white bag, some bay bags, some supreme bags, stuff like that. When you first walk in my room, you have to see this shelf. And then on the shelf, I have a globe that I got when I first decorated my room. My grandma decorated my room for me. Uh, I have a Gucci bag that I got. Um, I think I bought, a not bought a belt when I got that Gucci bag. Um, I have a belt Gucci box, a Gucci wallet, um, and I have a Louis Vuitton belt box. I had three belts right here. I'm missing like about three belts. They're at my mom's house because I do live in two different households. 
I have more belts than this, but um, and I have a belt that I'm wearing right now. But uh, I mean, I pretty much just put all my belts right here. I never really have all my belts together just because I live in two separate households. But yeah, on to the next shelf. I have my Christian Dior cologne. Um, I usually put my Gucci cologne in here right now, but I, it's in my car. I have my Cartier cologne. I don't really use this just because I like this Dior one better. This is a newer one, as you can see, it's still kind of full. So I use this pretty much every day. I love the scent of that, it's awesome. The next shelf I have, guys, I have my pop figures. Eventually, I wanna get a long floating shelf that goes above my closet where I basically line them up, all my pop figures. Um, but I have not collected that many, uh, just because they're pretty hard to find. I am a huge anime fan and that's literally all I watch. Like, all I watch is anime. I don't watch any regular TV. This TV does not come on, really. Uh, I really just stream from my phone, I go on Funimation and stream it to this TV connected to the TV and watch my anime on there. I eventually want to collect a pop figure for every single anime I've watched, which is going to be a lot because I have watched a lot of anime. I've watched anime for years now. Uh, but anyways, that's for our next video. I eventually want to make a video basically just based on anime. Um, I have a second channel. If you guys can't see, it's it's uh, Christopher Christmas. And I'm going to uh, pop that probably up in the description below. But uh, on that channel, I really want to focus on my personal life what I do throughout the day, or what I'm really into and interested in, so that will include anime, fashion, stuff like that. The next shelf I have is the box for my Rolex. Um, I just recently put this here. Um, I did get a Rolex for my birthday. You guys have not seen my birthday vlog yet. I will post that pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I just do that right there. I mean, it's pretty cool and it's a trophy. Um, and then next right here, I just have some hats, like a Dolce Gabbana hat, KC hat. I just really throw those on there, any hats that I have. Then right here, I have a Playboy Cardi album cover. I don't know if you guys know, if you guys can tell, but Playboy Cardi and his music play a big part of my life. Um, I've been listening to him for years, like literally years since SoundCloud Cardi. A lot of you guys don't even know. Um, and yeah, he's a big inspiration. Uh, I love his music and I listen to him every day. And right here, I have another motorcycle thing I just haven't decided to take down. Uh, that my grandma also got me, but uh, I'm eventually gonna take these down. And then right here, uh, I have two streamers. I got these for graduation present, uh, presents when I graduated eighth grade, going into high school. I have not taken these down yet. I literally just stuck them on my wall and I haven't taken them down yet. I mean, they look pretty cool. Now my closet, nothing really special in my closet. I may have some Uggs that I don't wear at all. Um, and so my like regular, more regular clothes and regular shoes I don't really wear anymore. This is pretty much a junk closet. Um, I don't really wear those stuff no more. And then right here, as you guys can tell, I have quote unquote the drip rack. Right here, I have a rack basically of all my drippiest items. I don't want to go into too much depth in this video of what's on this rack. I have Supreme. I'm missing some pieces right now. As you guys can see, I have empty hangers um, just because I'm going to my mom's house today. But uh, I'm undefeated. I have a bunch of stuff on here, babe, Supreme and below and stuff like that. I'm not gonna show you guys that rack right now. I'm gonna save that for a whole separate video where I will break down the rack and everything I have on there. It's literally my drippiest items, my most fire pieces, and I'm gonna break that down. And then right here, I have my Lakers banner. I've been a Lakers fan for years. I literally have had this banner since I was like six years old. So as you guys can tell, it's like pretty old, kind of beat up, like little stains in it, but I don't care. It doesn't matter, but Laker Nation all day, we the champs. Just know I ain't one of these bandwagons hopping on because Brown was here. I've been on since Kobe, so don't even try to play. Uh, right here, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I have the wire coming up for my LED lights. Uh, the LED lights I bought on Amazon, it's like 16 or 32 feet or something like that. They're like uh, 36 bucks or something like that. Um, I think they have a sale on them right now because of Christmas time. I might buy another pack just so I can put it throughout the rest of my room. Um, but I mean, they're pretty cool. At night, I literally turn off my lights and just had these on. So they're pretty cool, man. Right here next, above my drip rack, I have a PNB Rock poster. I actually, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have it signed by PNB Rock. Um, I met him a couple years back at a concert. I mean, also a bunch of other artists like Bryson Tiller, Chris Brown, uh, 21 Savage, Lil Uzi Vert, a Boogie, a bunch of other artists. Uh, I'll go into a different video on how I met those artists and stuff like that, um, breaking that down. So comment down below if y'all want a video on how I did that. But uh, next to it, I have the final piece of my room. I have my shoe boxes. Um, I got these all from the container store. And I don't know if you guys can tell, in pretty much almost every video, my shoes are switched in here. So like, I have a sneaker room, which uh, I made a video on my sneaker collection 
Um, as you, I'll pop up a card right here so you guys can see it. But I made a video on my sneaker collection, and uh, I don't have that many room in my room to put sneakers. So I have these boxes in here, and about every week or two, I rotate some shoes. So pretty much, this is the shoes. These are the shoes I'm gonna wear throughout the week, if that makes sense. So I pretty much just switch out my rotation, and this is like a big sneaker rotation, if that makes sense. So I switch out these shoes. Um, these are pretty much shoes I'm either gonna wear to school or work, stuff like that. So I switch them out pretty much every week or two. That's why you guys see in videos, I have different shoes. Like last video, I know I for sure didn't have these, 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 these in here, and like one more pair of the uh, breads I have on right now. And yes, I did get two pairs of these. This is a like a full box. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's a full box. I do have two pairs of these. I got a great deal on those. I bought two pairs of these, so I'm gonna rock one, stock one. But anyways, above my sneaker boxes, I have this showcase box. Um, in the showcase box, I have the shoes that I got signed by Chris Brown when I met him. And yes, like I said before, I didn't meet Chris Brown. I'll pop up a picture, or if I didn't pop up a picture already, um, I met him, probably one of the best experiences in my life. Um, yeah, uh, I broke that down in my sneaker collection video on why it was so meaningful to me to meet Chris Brown. Go watch that video, it's an amazing video. It's over 1K views, get that to 2K. Um, right here, I have a cause Elmo doll. Um, they're actually my, these dolls are actually for my sister and my little brother, uh, but I stole them from them and they don't know, um, or they haven't noticed yet. But I literally just keep these in here. They're pretty lit, I mean, I don't know, they just sit around, they're pretty lit and it adds a nice little touch to my room. Right here, I have a freaking, like a pen looking thing, like a colored pencil kind of looking thing. I got this also from Ikea, from the kids section actually. I bought that for like 10 bucks. I mean, it goes with my LED lights. It doesn't look bad. I just thought it looked cool, man. I mean, I don't care if it's kiddish or whatever you call it. I just thought it looks cool. It fades colors like my other LED lights do. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So I just keep that right there. And yeah, it's pretty lit. Um, and then the last piece of my room, I have a poster. This is from a Louis Vuitton catalog or a little magazine. It basically says, who are you? My stepmom put this in here. She ripped it off from the magazine. And um, I get up and I look at this poster every single day. When I look at that poster, I basically think about who I am and what I wanna be today. Um, every day I wanna be a better person. As I said earlier in the video, I have a new slogan. Make today so great, it makes yesterday jealous. So every day I wanna wake up knowing who I am as a person and the person I wanna be. A great person that inspires others and brings great into this world. So um, that's who I wanna be. And every day I get up and I look at that poster right there. Oh, and also don't let me forget y'all. Um, I have a money rug under my uh, $100 bill money rug under my little shoe shoe boxes. Um, I got this literally off an of Instagram ad. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I bought it, but it was just like an impulse buy. But I mean, it all works out. I decided to put it right there. I thought it was going to be big enough like I could put it all across my room, but uh, it obviously isn't. <laughs> so I just threw it right there. I mean, it looks pretty cool, man. I do need to buy some more boxes just because I want to have some more boxes in my room. I'll probably pull them up until about this level right here and have them all even down, but I mean, yeah. And that's my room, y'all. That's pretty much it for the video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment down below what videos you guys want me to do in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, I have a lot of videos I'm filming pretty soon, as you guys can see. I got the diamond tester right here. I also got a, a wire mic that I can clip on my shirt. I'm going to be doing some social experiments with that. But go watch my last video. I just dropped a 2020 recent fall winter sneaker pickups video. Um, it's pretty late. You can see what sneakers I picked up this fall slash winter season. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Uh, anyways, I'm Mona Lisa. Say bye. Bye.